If you really do a deep dive looking at where different tools are made, not like where in a location like in China, because a ton of them are, but where as far as the manufacturing plant for the popular tool brands that we see in the USA, you really start to get surprised as to what you may find out and who might make certain tools. Now we've been privy to a lot of things like TTI obviously owns Milwaukee, makes tools for Rigid in Ryobi, da da da. But when you really go deeper than that and say, okay, wait a minute, who makes this tool for TTI? Or who makes this tool for DeWalt? Who makes this tool for Bosch? And then you start to see that what you thought was one big tool company who made all their own tools is really this conglomeration of many different tools that are brought in from a ton of different places. And then that leads you back to Amazon where you find this DCK drill for 90 bucks with a four amp hour battery, which is totally different than what you'd find in the US because if you bought a kit, this would be a two amp hour battery in a compact. So either way, I want to check this out because there's some interesting stuff. I have a lot in the description, but I encourage you to go to the blog so you can actually click the links, move around to some of these different websites from the manufacturer that owns this brand. They're an OEM and an ODM. So there's some very interesting stuff in there as far as what you might see that looks super familiar. We're gonna go through this drill just to see if it matches up to the performance of what we would see in some popular brands in the United States. Stay tuned. When I ordered this DCK drill, I knew very little about the company, although I had my suspicions. Once I opened the box and felt it, I said, yeah, this is a tool company that is very familiar and is building quality tools. They know what's going on here. You have a metal chuck like you'd see on many other of the drills that you would find in the United States. This is a decent quality chuck. All the different features on this feel very good. The switches go back and forth. This is nothing like an Amazon drill that you would pick up. Brushless motor on the inside. Even the switching from forward to reverse here. Very precise, very positive. Now the one downside to this that I would see is maybe the trigger, but a lot of people wouldn't pick up on this either. Kind of a trigger snob when it comes to some of this stuff, but take a listen to the motor as we go up the cycle. Now that's not my finger going through those steps. That's actual steps in the trigger because you can kind of make it do it again if you go quickly. So it's got a step trigger to it. That's the only downside to it, but it's a drill. So I don't think that that makes much of a difference. You can hear it better in low. So you have 500 RPMs in low, 2000 RPMs in high, which is what you would find in most other tools. 581 inch pounds. Now this is the smaller drill that these guys make. I was unable to get the large model that is 1,081 inch pounds. It's a hammer drill with the auxiliary handle. That one is very similar, but it's blue. Very nice colored blue and red with a little bit of white. You might notice how that is similar to some other colors. On the bottom here, we're using three of the inputs. We have four on the battery, so there is more communication in some of the other tools. We do have a fuel gauge down here on the battery. Very easy to use, but very, very tight. So good tolerances there. I dislike how this light comes on with the trigger. Wish it would stay on for a little bit afterwards, but again, this is their kind of lower end, not professional grade tool. So it's interesting is most of the Amazon tools will come with some other drill bits and stuff. These are a high speed steel drill bit. They are labeled right on there and they're actually pretty sharp. We're going to test them out a little bit in some of the drilling that we're going to do. But one of the things that I found that was sort of cool was this is a belt clip that is also a carrier for multiple bits. 
why the belt clip? I don't know, you know, is that kind of cheesy? But, you know, this thing is made of some decent plastic. So if you actually pulled this on some of the Amazon stuff like that, it would be broke. So this is actually not horrible quality. Kind of like that also comes with a bag, tool belt kit that is not installed. I actually like that also. Not a ton of power here, but let's get to do some drilling. Here we go with the largest drill bit that's in the package that comes with the drill. This is a 3 8 We're just gonna see how it goes through this wood. Pretty good. It's interesting how we can hear that dropping through the wood like that. We are in high, so we are on the 2000 RPM mode. It is a little different that that LED flashes at us like that. You can hear that click tight. Everybody's gonna say, go one step back. The instructions did not say to do that. Half inch spade here, let's try this. That definitely did slow it down a little bit. We're gonna jump right up to the three quarter, which may be a little tough for this on high. 531 inch pounds is not a, t a lot. So that's gonna be, you know, interesting on a drill this size. Let's just give it a try and see what happens. Stopped at the end of the hole there. The downside with buying a drill like this in this package is you only get one battery, albeit a four amp hour. That's gonna slow us down a little bit in testing. And we're taking a huge jump up here to a one inch. This is a lot for this small of a drill, but let's give it a try. We still can step down to low speed. Made it. We are at the bottom of that hole and it's just not gonna wanna go through. That's pretty impressive, but will it do an inch and a quarter? Now, I don't expect this at all, although I didn't expect the one inch. Let's just see what happens here. Yeah, no, drop to low. Not as exciting to watch on low, but let's just jump this guy up to an inch and a half. See what happens. Still on low. We're at the point here where an auxiliary handle would definitely be nice and I wouldn't suggest doing this without. You know, using this and using the chuck, the chuck feels very familiar. I like that. And it seems easy to use and it hasn't dropped a bit. I have, but the chuck hasn't. And let's just try this out, speed two. See what happens. Nope. This is uh, one of those, it's an inch and an eighth bore bit. Sometimes it really works easier than some of the others, sometimes it doesn't. This is going to be a much larger bit. This is gonna be for the half inch chuck. Kind of a test as to how it's gonna hold it. This is an inch and three quarter bore bit. One of those that the this will fall out if the chuck isn't really good. We're on low range still, going the wrong direction.
nice. The cool part about this is that the tool is not hot and that tells me a lot based off of what we're doing. And look at that, still have a full battery. Of course, we would accept this or expect this to sip fuel just because it's a smaller drill, but I would expect it to be pretty warm for what we're putting it through. Now with that said, we can dip into our case here. I think this is pretty cool. Not that I'd carry it, but I, I think it's an interesting idea anyway. And we can put in this bit holder that comes with it. Now this too is kind of neat because you're using smaller bits and they have a little tiny line around them that it grabs in here. Not only is it a little bit magnetic as it pulls them in, but there's also this little collet that kind of holds them in place. I think that's kind of cool. Let's just go into the magnetic or uh, the standard clutch, not magnetic clutch. We're just going to drive this in here and we're on level three. It shouldn't go that far. Pretty standard as far as a clutch goes and uh, it's not an electronic clutch, which some people or most people would like. I got her ratcheted right up to 21. We have one level set. Very cool. The one thing I dislike is this LED flashing at me like a strobe. That kind of gets annoying. It would be nice to have it stay on a little bit, but as far as how it works, it, it does remind me of some of the other professional brands that are out there just with some more DIY or lesser qualities. And you're getting obviously a drill like that, but at a lesser cost. So it wasn't many years ago, we would actually been talking about how many cutouts we had, thermal events or thermal issues, not fires, but just how hot things got. And look at this, we have a max of 99.6 showing here and nothing here is hot. That still tells me there's a little more technology going on inside this tool than just your typical Amazon tool that was slapped together. So obviously the test here is not to test the drill bits and to see how fast they go. It's to actually put the pressure on the tool and make sure that the tool is doing its job. This is probably the absolute best Amazon drill that I've ever tested. And I'm gonna call it an Amazon drill because DCK is not something that I'm familiar with, with the marketing basis that is allowed into my brainwashed head in the United States. Is this something that we're gonna see in different areas? Is this part of a OEM manufacturer outside? Uh, there's some interesting stuff in those links. I'm gonna let you kind of roll through that and see what I've seen and maybe you guys could come back and we could have some very interesting conversations in the comments. Cause I'll tell you what, I seen some things there that first I'll never unsee because I think it's really cool to know what's going on. And we've seen this with some different other, some different companies, right? They don't all go out and advertise that, hey, I make this tool for this brand or this tool for this brand. They can't. But at the same point, they make some quality tools. You push them out here, you push them out there. And this could be something that we've seen other brands start up like Ego, Flex, things like that. I mean, it's, this is the same type of small company in China that put all that stuff together and now a very common name in the United States. Interesting. Maybe this is early, maybe it'll never happen. I don't know. But it kind of led me down the road to test this out and just to see where and what might be here. So is the drill the highlight of this video? No, I hope the highlight of this video is that you go to the blog, click through the links, look at it and go, aha and then come back and we have some conversations about it below because that's pretty cool. As always, give us a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, go to that blog, leave some comments below. Thanks again, have a great day.